Okay, folks, so we have some concerning news that we definitely have to go over. So just yesterday, we had the Federal Reserve Bank of New York president, John Williams, make a statement that I definitely want to break down. Now, he mentioned that inflation needs to continue showing a long-term trend going down and also see more weakness in the labor market until the Federal Reserve decides to stop hiking rates. Now, why is this important? Well, we recently had a few of the CPI reports come out showing that inflation is kind of slowly decreasing and the overall market has been very excited about this they've been bullish you know there's been a mini rally you know all turns of good stuff right however one of the things that this fed member has said is that okay well even though we're seeing inflation kind of come down we got to put the you know foot on the pedal and also continue accelerating which is not good news so i also want to explain why fed williams words are very important see he's the president of the federal reserve of bank of new york but he's also right the vice chairman of the FOMC. So he's directly right underneath Jerome Powell, which I know you guys often hear, you know, news outlets or often me talk about Jerome Powell oftentimes. But one of the things you have to pay attention to are what are the people close to Jerome Powell also saying? And so one of the issues with inflation is just the overall job market. I mentioned in the copious amounts of videos and in the Push and Profit private group that we have a very robust job market, right? I showed a chart where people are just quitting at all time levels, which indicates that people are comfortable with leaving the job because they're you know confident in the fact that they could find another job like pretty soon right which is good right but it's also bad for the federal reserve because they're going to continue because they want to see more weakness in the job market right now why is this important well you know you guys have to wait on because i'm going to explain why this is actually really bad but before i actually break that down i also want to mention something else that fed williams mentioned and he's mentioned that he sees unemployment ticking up to 4.5 percent by the end of the year now, if we take a look, 4.5% is still considered historically low, and it's not anything very significant. So going back into why I said this is very bad is simply because of this. While we're seeing core CPI slightly decrease, one of the main issues is that service inflation, right, is actually increasing, right? And service inflation accounts for over 50% of the CPI report, meaning that the service inflation counts for a majority of you know the CPI report, the majority of inflation. And one of the things that will help bring service inflation down is having the job market go down. But we're already seeing that the job market is very strong and the Federal Reserve is going to continue to do this until, you know, going to continue raising rates until the job market has more weakness. But we're having a battle here where we're having the Federal Reserve fight this job, you know, this tight job market, and it's not looking good. This is going to be an absolute crusher for the housing market and for the stock market as risk on investments are, are just not the thing right now. And although we had a little bit of a relief rally in the last few trading sessions, we definitely got rejected at this descending trend line. And I want to talk about a few things that we have to pay attention to going forward. So we know that the FOMC rate decision is going to occur on February 1st. Now here's the thing guys, many are speculating that the FOMC is either going to hike rates by 50 basis points again or they might hike rates by 25 basis points. Now, I want to talk about a few things here. Now, if the FOMC hikes rates by 25 basis points, the overall market, don't be surprised if you see the overall market rally, right? Because many individuals and investors are going to say, well, okay, if they're only hiking by 25 basis points, that means that the Federal Reserve is getting closer to a pivot and things are looking good. However, I want you guys to remember, let's be logical here. Even if the Federal Reserve hikes by 25 basis points, that still means that they're hiking rates. That still means that in interest rates are going up, right? That's going to stifle the economy. I think we've definitely gotten very numb to interest rates getting hiked 75 basis points often in 2022 that we forget that 25 basis points is still very hurtful to the economy. And so if the FOMC decides to hike rates by 25 basis points and the market rallies, I expect that rally to be very short term because again, reality is going to hit that this is actually bad. Now, another reality that we definitely have to address is the fact that interest rates as they go up is going to make lending and credit much more difficult. If you guys watched one of my recent videos, I talked about how Wells Fargo in their earnings report mentioned that there's a concern for credit defaults, right, with their lending, meaning that 
they are expecting that as rates go up higher, more likely individuals who are going to be lending are gonna default on the credit, which means that Wells Fargo and several other large financial institutions are going to have to be a little bit more stricter on their lending because you gotta think about this. If you're lending out credit and the rates are really high, people most likely won't be able to pay it, they won't be able to pay the banks and they lose money. So the banks have to be strategic and they have to you know, really kind of pause on how much credit they're giving out. And so if Americans have have less credit to spend, well, guess what? That's gonna to contribute to our earnings recession. As less people are spending, as rates are getting higher, well, you know, a lot of these companies are going to see less earnings, and that's when we're gonna see more job cuts. But I don't see this happening anytime soon in 2023. I think we're gonna see more pain in 2023 going into 2024. Oh, no, no. However, as a trader, there are many opportunities that present themselves, and I wanna highlight some trades that I called out in the Push and Profit private group. For example, one of the trades were ticker symbol N O W, which I highlighted some of the reasons why I like this trade, and I want to show you guys the results for the call out for today. But another trade that I also highlighted was an option scalp trade where I talked about Meta. I mentioned that you know calls at around 135 to 137 as a strike price once Meta goes below 134 dollars and 50 cents. And we see that pretty much Meta touched our entry point and did really well. It served as a great trade idea. Which, by the way, guys, if you guys want to be able to have access to my daily briefings where I go into depth of what's going on in the overall market, much more than what I do on YouTube, and also have access to the trade ideas that I call out every single day then definitely check out the first link in the description below of this video I'm also gonna pin it in the comment section there's actually 50% off um, it expires in about 10 days for January uh, where you have access to the private group you get over five hours of video lessons and you get to be able to be part of their daily briefings and also part of the community so definitely check out the links in the description and in the comment section below but getting back on track guys or at least bringing it back to the main point of this video it's very clear that the Federal Reserve is going to continue continue staying hawkish and they're going to continue raising interest rates even if it does hurt the overall economy, right? It looks like they're gonna continue having this uphill battle against this robust job market. And even if they raise, you know, the federal fund rate by 25 basis points in the next, you know, uh, Fed decision, who's to say that they may not raise the federal fund rate by 25 basis points repeatedly over and over again. So even if they're not raising it by 75 or 50, they could just do 25 basis points but for a longer duration of time, which could, you know, just as easily be just as bad for the overall economy, right? It just is gonna be a little bit pinch of like less of pain, but it's definitely gonna be pain. But with that being said, guys, if you guys are not part of the Push and Profit program or you don't plan on joining the Push and Profit program, make sure to at least tap that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. This way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is the Federal Reserve over tightening or are they making the right decision? With that being said, guys, make sure to also watch this next video right over here and I'll see you guys on that next video. Take care, guys. <music>